Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Black Lotus Oracle. This will be a TGIF reading for Cancer. Let's just get into it, right? Oh my gosh! You know what? This re this card came out twice in um, Gemini's reading, so I guess we're talking about Sleeping Beauty again. This read th this card came out in someone else's reading, but I'm like, whatever. Okay, Eight of Cups. Walking away, I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. Energy, right? Um, so what are you walking away from? I don't know, I'm sort of being drawn to this mute, the moon. I think there's a full moon this weekend. Maybe you're taking time to moon bath. I used to do that a lot under the full moon. Um, I would moon bath. I would um, just basically go outside. I would put on my meditation music. Um, sometimes I would drink a glass of wine. I would listen, if not to music, I would listen to um, the crickets or the birds or whatever is outside for me to listen to or running water if there was like a nearby waterfall or something like that, you know what I mean? Sleeping Beauty. I'm getting something about sleep. I don't know if people are having sleep issues or if they're feeling restless or if they're feeling hyperactive. Um, I don't know, maybe you might need to take melatonin. You know, if, if I have sleeping issues, maybe you need to run a bath, like put some bubbles in your bath or like smell lavender. That usually helps. Um, rose hip. I feel like you should take a, a, a actual bath. Play some frequency music. Just kick back. I feel like that's what you need, a cancer. Because the moon can affect cancers and Pisces people very uh, differently. You might be feeling very emotional. Maybe you're walking away from people, places, groups, things, a job, a uh, mentality, uh, some financial obligations. So you might just need some self-care. Put some bath salts, some Epsom salts in your bath. You know, I love Bed Bath and not Bed Bath. I love Bath and Body Works. They have like this um, particular brand that's like more on the natural spectrum. That's like more herbal based. Uh, I would get something like that and put it in my bath along with the eucalyptus. Not eucalyptus. Well, maybe you want to do eucalyptus, but I'm thinking more so on the lavender and like rose hip spectrum some people bath with their crystals but i i do that on occasion like sometimes i charge my crystals during a full moon and um i'll place my crystals around the shower or whatever and i'll like i'll light my candles i'll burn my incense and I'll take like a really long bath and then I might do a whole process of like um, using like sugar scrub, like maybe you need to go get some sugar scrub and like just, I don't know, I'm getting just pamper yourself. Put on a, a, a Mayan clay mask maybe maybe get like a um, 
a Jasper facial rolling pin and get some hydroclonic acid or something or some vitamin E and just like rub it into your skin like ooh, nice or if you're dating someone you know this person can massage you with some really nice oils you might be tense you might you know I just feel like, ooh, the whole pampering energy, ooh, like a nice, get someone who's really good with their hands, rub, you know, get the nice, good foot rub and do the oils and do the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting excited for you, Cancer. Like, ooh, yeah, I like this. I like this reading for Cancer. Pamper yourself, spoil yourself. Get your toes done, get your nails done. Do the oils, do the massage, do the thing, do the baths. All right? <laughs> Enjoy your weekend, Cancer. Thank you for checking in.